Ben's Aquariums, here is an update on the 29-gallon long-finned albino bristle nose tank. Right now, the dad is currently fanning a bunch of eggs, and they're about three days old. You can see, if I had a better camera, you'd be able to see that there's actually, you can actually see the embryos inside the eggs. The first batch is up there, and there's another bunch of eggs right down there, the orange mass right there. So that's good because I can, I plan on selling the babies to help fund all the other tanks that I have. Alright, so I'm also going to show you a little bit about what else is in this tank. I changed a couple of things. So stick with me. Alright, so up here on the top of the tank, on the surface, I have a mix of Amazon frog bit, duckweed, and water lettuce, and that is here so that it can help to absorb the excess nutrients in the tank and help keep the water quality really good so that these plecos will breed for me consistently. So you can see the roots dangle down into the tank. Another beneficial thing of having these plants in the tank is that they create a area for little microorganisms to live in the roots. If I had a better camera, I would be able to show you. <coughs> but I've made other videos about um, little organisms living in my fish tank. So you can search that in my uh, videos. Alright, and then I'm going to show you something else that's going to happen. In the terracotta pot in the back of the tank, there is a red tiger lotus bulb, and it is sitting on some gravel, and then underneath the gravel is some dirt. So I'm hoping that that will grow. I haven't, uh, it hasn't grown for me in a year. I had it originally in the 75 gallon when I had fluorite, but then after I dirted it, it didn't grow for me, and it's just now started to put out some little starter leaves, so I'm hoping that it starts growing for me because that would be really cool. Alright, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Talk to you later.